trying to figure out what I do. Do I go back to sleep for like an hour? Through my pajamas in a suitcase with along with my toiletries and that's all we have. That is ice. <laughs> Got our six million alarm set. First time flying the Barbie jet. <gasps> it's um, 1 a.m. right now. Crew scheduling just called me. I don't have a single thing packed. I've gotta leave my house at like... <laughs> 3.45. So I'm just like trying to figure out what I do. <laughs> do I go back to sleep for like an hour? Crew scheduling, keeping me humble this morning. It is currently 4.35 a.m. My report time this morning is 5 a.m. And crew scheduling called me at 1 a.m. this morning. It is Wednesday. Hey guys, good morning, welcome. If you're new here and welcome back, if you're not, my name is Hannah, I'm an Atlanta-based flight attendant, and I am tired. <laughs> I, it's Wednesday, I think I already said that. Yeah, I think it's Wednesday, yeah, it's Wednesday. I started, I went on call at midnight this morning, and I actually worked a lean the night before. So I got in yesterday, I got home yesterday at 9 a.m., and a lean is where you work basically through the night. You take the last flight out and you sleep for like three hours and then you take the first flight back home the next morning. So I got in yesterday morning from Aline and thank goodness I slept because I kind of just thought I would power through the day because I had so many things I wanted to get done and I was honestly so tired and I slept most of yesterday. And I was like, you know what? I probably won't get called. It's the middle of the week. There's nothing really in open time. I I think I'll be good. Like, I'll at least, like, I knew I'd probably get called, but I thought it would at least be, like, once I wake up. Nope. 1 a.m. My head is pounding. Basically because lack of sleep, and I feel like my schedule's so thrown off. And I'm working a position this morning, which is my least favorite position. But it's fine. It's fine, y'all. We're powering through, finding the good. I've been trying to, like, listen to some good music on the way to work this morning. DB, there was no way DB was bringing me to work. No freaking way. I haven't had any caffeine this morning. Zero caffeine. No coffee. No Celsius. It's probably another reason my head is pounding. I took some medicine this morning for my head. I'm hoping it gets better, but... I'm about to, it's 4.30, my report time is, well, it's 4.40, so I have about 20 minutes, um, but my report time is at 5 a.m., and our flight leaves at 6 a.m. this morning, so I'm going to try to get in there and see if I can, like, stop and get some coffee. I don't even know if coffee shops are open. Like I said, I'm working A. If you aren't familiar with that position, that means I am lead flight attendant on this trip. That means I'm working up front in first class, and which I will say I work two, we have two flights this morning. We end up in Detroit. And I think we land at like noon, so that's good. So I can go straight to the hotel, take a nap. I won't be doing a single thing because I'll be so freaking tired. And then we have three flights tomorrow. And since I'm on call, I still have one more day on call. So there is a high chance that they will be calling me and extending my... Because technically I should go home tomorrow. Where they only gave me a two day, but I still have one more day on call. But since I'm on call, they'll probably give me something else. So I looked up the flights and we, it is a light load, very light load. There's hardly any people. Well, first class will be full, but that's fine. Um, I love when the back is empty. I don't mind first class being full, but the back being empty, it just makes it easier for all of us when we're tired in the morning. Of course we want our flights to be full, y'all. Of course but sometimes it's nice when it's 4.30 in the morning and <coughs> I just don't have it in me. But let's get this trip started, you guys. I'm bringing you alone for three days on call. It's been about two months, I think two months. It could have been more since I've been on call. People have been picking up my own call 
um, are swapping my call for trips because I've been putting them on the board. And for the past couple of months, I don't know what's going on, but people have been swapping them. Any guesses where we are? Look how beautiful that is ice. <laughs> we finally made it to our layover a bazillion hours later. I think we were originally supposed to get here at, I think like land around 1130. And because the traffic was so bad, for the planes that we sat on the runway for almost an hour. So multiple people missed their flights. We were super delayed. I am so tired. I was like surviving off of candy and caffeine just to keep me awake. And my head is killing me probably because I've had so much. It's also freezing. And this is what I wore. A dress and no jacket. I'm about to take a hot shower and immediately change into my PJs. I need to get clean, get warm, and nap. I'm so tired. I got cocky and I didn't pack anything last night and prepare like I should have. So at 1 a.m. this morning, when crew scheduling called, I washed my dress and sweater put it on while it was still wet and I mean it wasn't soaking wet I <laughs> just didn't dry all the way put it on threw my pajamas in a suitcase with along with my toiletries and that's all we have I feel like a new woman oh I just showered and my body had to defrost from the cold <laughs> because it's so cold here and I didn't bring a jacket. I'm getting ready to put all of my food away. Not that I brought a lot. I really didn't bring hardly any food, but I'm really sorry y'all. I'm videoing like everything off of my phone because somehow I have lost two camera chargers. We brought some kombucha. I probably won't even drink half of this brought one of these we don't have a microwave in here but these are really good I love these Amy's bowls or whatever those are good like easy go-to I don't know if I've actually tried Olipop this one's strawberry vanilla but I was like in case I'm feeling something sweet later I might do that I think I'm gonna order DoorDash so fun fact for you guys I was so excited to tell y'all but really sad that I never videoed this but we are in Detroit, if I did not say that. I think I did. This was my first long layover right out of training. Me and my good friend picked it up together, which 
so funny, lol, because I don't pick up trips anymore. Like, mm -mm, your girl's not about picking up trips. I work what's on my line, try to get the weekends off. That's just who I am. I'm not about to work extra hours <laughs> or fly extra hours. I feel like I'm already flying so much. So we picked it up out of training together and it was like a 30 hour layover. It was the best trip, like one of the best trips I've ever had. We had so much fun. We went ice skating downtown. They had like an ice skating rink. We went to this cool Christmas bar. They had like fun drinks for the holidays. They had this Christmas market. We went to this amazing pizza place. And so that was really fun. The sad thing was, is that I was fresh out of training and I wasn't really recording my trips. And so I did not, just because I was like adjusting to the schedule, but I wish that I did have it on camera because it was, it was so much fun. It was the best trip ever. So this is my first time back since that trip. And I want to try and find if I can remember that pizza place and see if they door dash because I'm not going outside. It's too cold and I only packed PJs. A few things we brought are put in the fridge. So that's done. We're going to close that. And just set this right here. I don't think I gave you guys a room tour. There's this. Here's a cool mirror. The view is my favorite part, but I turned the heat up so. The windows are kind of foggy right now, but it's beautiful out there. Love the bed. I do remember this hotel being really nice. Nice big TV and then like a walk-in closet, legit walk-in. Another big mirror, hi. And then nothing special about the bathroom. I just showered so everything's foggy. I think I'm about to nap and try to rest and then maybe like wake up and I'll order dinner go to bed early because our van pickup is at 5 20 in the morning and tomorrow's a long day and I'm on call for three days so this counted as day one tomorrow counts as day two so I technically still have one more day on call but we have this thing called trip drop where we can try I feel like I've explained this before but I'll probably always explain I'll try to explain it again just in case. So you can go in and request a trip drop for like a one day, two day, or three day. And depending on staffing and how, how well we are staffed, they will grant you the trip drop and like drop that trip and find put it in open time where people can pick it up or find someone else to work it if someone else is on call and doesn't put in for trip drop so it just kind of goes back out into the universe and someone else gets it but it's easier to be granted a trip drop for one day rather than three because they go by one two or three and they'll tell you the next day like who they granted it for so sometimes they'll say like they granted all one days, all two days, or all three days, or they'll say, um, like all one days and two days up to this seniority number. So they may only grant it to certain people. So we don't know if we'll get it, but I think I'm going to try to put in for it because I really don't want to drive back to the airport. Tomorrow will be day four working this week and I'm just telling you guys like three days as a flight attendant is plenty during the week it's just hard to explain it's a different kind of lifestyle and I'm like that last day I just don't know but the thing is is if I have to work it I have to work it but I am going to put that in right now so I don't forget and see if I can get trip drop for Friday and then I have Saturday Sunday off which is nice so that'd be great if I could have like a three day weekend. Oh, and fun fact, if they do grant me the trip drop, I do not get paid for anything. You know, I just woke up from, I don't know if you'd call it a nap because it's almost 7 p.m. No, oh, I'm so tired, oh my goodness. And now I'm like starving and trying to figure out what to do for food. Closing 
the curtains. But I was debating of like getting DoorDash. But the thought of like going outside and picking my food up in the cold just doesn't sound appealing at all. And there's a little restaurant, nothing crazy, here in the hotel that's on, um, that we get like 20% off. And I tried to call and order it ahead of time, and he said they're not taking orders ahead of time, which is annoying. So I guess I'm just gonna walk down there and see if I could order some food really quick. eyes are definitely bigger than my stomach but I haven't felt well with my headache and I actually haven't like eaten all day like real food I've been eating candy and snacks on the plane so I got a flatbread pizza this is just from the restaurant downstairs got a little flatbread bread pizza it looks all right you know nothing crazy and we got a discount from the place the restaurant so I felt a little bit better about it and I feel like this is a lot of food for what I was I'm like I paid less on through the restaurant since I had a discount than I was gonna pay on Uber Eats and I was getting less food and then these are the sweet potato fries which mmm these look yum every time I pull my phone now I can just tell that the quality is not as good as my camera so I'm so sorry you guys that this one, I feel like we're throwing it back to training days because when I was in flight attendant training and I recorded all those videos for you guys, I didn't even have a camera. I got a camera, DB got me a very nice camera for Christmas in 2021, I think. And so throwing it back to training days when I was just using my phone, which I go back and watch those sometimes and I cringe. I knew I wanted to make those videos because I, would Google so many of those on YouTube or search those on YouTube went before I was going to training and it's just kind of cool it's exciting like it gets you pumped for training which it should like that's the whole point I mean you're exhausted the whole time and I know I didn't tell you guys a whole lot and I can't overshare too much but it just gets you excited so I know how much I enjoyed watching them before training so that's why I made them so throwing it back to training days with the phone French fries are good, and it was popping downstairs. So many people, which is interesting because the last time I was here on that layover with my friend, we came during Christmas time, and it was just dead. It's almost midnight, you guys. <laughs> my body's so messed up now since I went from like working that lean to napping midday. Your girl doesn't take naps. Like I've never, I've never been a nap girl. And I, my body's all out of whack. So since I took that nap today, I took like the longest nap ever. My body's like not tired, but I know how hard it is or how hard it's going to be to wake up at 4 a.m. So I'm trying to make myself, I'm just gonna at least like lay down, turn out the lights and I'm sure I'll fall asleep. Just doing. A little skincare. My face is super dry. I told you guys I was gonna try to put in for a trip drop, and uh, this is so hard to explain to you guys. So I told you about the trip drop, but it's not always granted, like, they don't always give it to people. But I can check. Like, I can go online and check to see what they granted people the day before to kind of get a general idea. And so I went to check and see what they granted. And in my mind, I'm like, oh, surely they granted everyone trip drops for a one day. Because a one day is easier to drop than a three day. And so I went and checked and they did not grant everyone. They I think they gave it up to, they gave it, they granted trip drops all the way to um, like 14,000 seniority. And just to give you an idea, my seniority is 20,000. 
So I was very shocked by that. So since I really don't want to work on Friday, I'm taking all precautions. I put in for daily PPT, which is where I use my paid personal time. And they can either grant it to you if staff, the same as trip drop, like they could grant it to you if staffing is good or they may not. So I did daily PPT, I did trip drop, and I put my 8A1 on the board for someone to pick up. So if no, if my trip doesn't go, if my trip is not taken away, my one or on call day for Friday, then the airline gods are telling me I need to work. <laughs> So that's the way I look at it. I'm like, if it doesn't go away, I need to work. But if it gets picked up, I needed a three day weekend. Got our six million alarm set, three on my work phone, like five on my personal phone. I usually get a wake up call for this early of a report to just as a triple backup, but I forgot to write one down and I feel like it'll be fine since I took a nap. So hopefully I'm good. Of course, watching friends and getting snuggly in bed. I really like this bed. This bed is super cozy. Freezing. I don't understand. I'm so over this weather. Oh my gosh, it's so cold. Currently looking for my car. Oh my gosh. I'm not wearing the dress anymore. I'm over the dress. Like pants from here on out. My legs are so cold. I feel like I never defrosted from Detroit. 